Uh, we've been married for just over eight years and together for just over nine. Uh, we have two children, Bree, who is uh, almost 11, and Brody, who's seven. Um, both of our kids play ball for um, Winter Springs Bay Ruth, and Pastor Justin was doing the opening prayer for the season. Michael, I think, was on shift that day, and so I called him, and I was like, um, I think we're going to try out a new church next weekend, and he's like, um, no, we're not. <laughs> And I was like, yeah, we are. And um, I won, we did, and we have never left. <laughs> Spring of 2016, um, small group launch weekend um, had come and they had a freedom group and everyone had talked about how amazing the groups are and everything. And Michael's um, struggled a lot with his work. I've been a firefighter for 11 years now. I just realized that, you know, over the years, there was a couple of calls that we'd run, you know, mainly dealing with children that um, had stayed with me and I didn't sleep at night like I used to wake up three four times a night and every time I'd wake up I'd have to go and look at my kids and just make sure that they were okay. So I signed us up for a freedom group mainly because I knew Michael needed to go through it and just hoping that it would be something amazing for him um, but little did I know that God was putting me right where I needed it to be when I needed it the most. We were probably about halfway through freedom group four weeks, four weeks in and I was at the fire department coming off shift that morning. My mom had called me at like 6.30 that morning. I tried calling her back and she didn't answer and trying to figure out what's going on. And then it was finally about an hour later, she finally called me back and she told me that I needed to come over because my dad had just been arrested for child pornography. So the first few weeks were, were pretty rough and just trying to find out why and where my mom would go from here, you know, 38 year marriage. and this big secret and so there's a lot to wondering like how much of your life is a lie. I do a job for a career where we show up to a, something bad and we try and make it good and I couldn't do anything. I kept just saying God take over because I, I can't do this on my own. I think we both ended up calling someone from our freedom groups. They all sent text messages letting us know like we're here for you, we're praying for you, is there anything you need? Two weeks after everything happened we had reached the forgiveness section. And I remember going in and like obviously dreading it. Could I find forgiveness for my father? Um, especially so soon. I sat there and I said like how can I, like I, I can't picture forgiving somebody that just did this. I was mad. <laughs> like I was mad and uh, I couldn't I couldn't watch her be upset like a whole, lot, a whole lot more and not be able to do something. And so then I started praying about it and I got to the point where I realized that the one thing that I can do that can help her is I can forgive her father and I can make something better of this. I think we left group that night and I had decided that um, I needed to go and visit my dad. It was the first, I hadn't seen him yet since everything happened. Um, I made an appointment and a week after that week I had gone and visited my dad for the first time and saw him eye to eye and um, just let him know like I did forgive him. Even though we still didn't have the answers. But, And so um, that one visit actually led into me going every single week to visit my dad. And once he got his sentencing and found out he was gonna be um, transferred to state prison, um, I sat and prayed a prayer of salvation with my dad over a payphone <laughs> and brought him back into a relationship with the Lord, so. So the whole time during our freedom group, everyone said, you have to go to freedom retreat. You have to go to freedom retreat. We went and it was amazing. When you walked in, you knew that it was like, this is a special place right now. So each session covered the topics, you know, that you already covered throughout the study, but then you would go up to the prayer line and, um, and kind of just, that was where you had a chance to release it. Just the, the weight was just lifted off your shoulders after every single session. Every session you went back to your chair just feeling lighter and lighter. There's no doubt that God had us, he, got, he brought us to Action Church. He brought us and put us into a freedom group because he knew what we were going to go through. We actually looked forward to going to small group every Thursday night because we knew we were going to be around people 
Um, even if we had to kind of talk about what we had been through and what had happened. But you could go to your small group and you could talk to them and there was no feeling of being judged. Having a support system through the small group was, was amazing. If we didn't have action in our lives and had we not been in a freedom group when all of that stuff happened, then I, I don't know where we'd be.